how to install the software on your PC laptop for a Daytona TwinTech TwinScan 4. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. Very quick video here. I'm going to show you how to install the software on your laptop uh, and then you can run your TwinScan 4 so that you can hook it up to your bike and start doing deep dive stuff into your diagnostics. Okay, so you might have noticed uh, I'm actually using a Mac here, so you can only download this onto a, a PC laptop. I've got my old PC laptop here, but it's going so slow. And also uh, the problem is I can't screen record here. So I'm gonna show you on the, on the website here exactly how to download everything. Then I'm gonna get over to the PC laptop and show you exactly what you should be looking for. Okay, let's get into that. Okay, so what you do, you come to the uh, DaytonaTwinTech.com uh, website. You'll see on the Diagnostics and Equipment tab here, you'll see that TwinScan 4, bottom left, is $537. You've got other different applications. The TwinScan 4 is for 2011 to 2020, actually, motorcycles. Here it says 2018, uh, but uh, it goes up to 2020. The 2021 bikes have got a new ECM and a new DLC connector, so this won't function. However, there's evolution on these for all the tuners and uh, Daytona Twin Tech as well. That will be coming, I'm sure. Okay, so this is up until 2020. Now, uh, depending where you are in the world, obviously there might be different prices. So you'll have to search for your particular country what the local distributor is for this Daytona Twin Tech, the Twin Scan 4. Uh, if you can't find something in your own country, then you come direct to this website and order it here. Okay. Once you've uh, got the hardware, you've actually bought this, then you come to the uh, website again and you download the software. So you go to the software tab. You're gonna have to do this on a laptop PC. But once you've got your laptop PC, you download the USB driver. Once you've downloaded the USB driver, then you come down to the bottom here and you download the TwinScan software. And in this case, it's a TwinScan 4 and you install that software. Once you've done that, then basically you can uh, go to this USB driver and you can set up or reconfigure the COM port, the USB port, and you have to use the same one all the time. And basically you're gonna change the millisecond uh, timing on it. Uh, so instead of 16, mine was, uh, you actually reset it to two milliseconds. However, the actual instructions are very, very clear on this. Uh, so it's easy to follow. So I'm gonna bring you over to the laptop. Uh, apologies, because the screen record function on this uh, PC isn't working. Right, so let's get into it. Okay, so as I say, the instructions are very clear and uh, simple to follow, but this is what you do. So it will tell you what the PC requirements are. They recommend a Pentium processor with Super VGA display, uh, 1024 to 768 pixel resolution, and you should be running Windows XP Vista 7, 8, uh, or 10 uh, on this. So if you've got that, you're golden, right? So you've installed the USB driver and you've downloaded the software for the TwinScan 4 and I'll show you that in a moment. Now you basically have to do this COM port configuration. So I'm going to bring you over to the laptop. Right, so let's get into it. Okay, so the instructions, as I say, are very clear and I'll show you exactly what they are. They're very clear there. So depending on what operating system you have, you follow that instructions. I'm running Windows 10 on this one. So what I do, I right click on the start icon, which is down there, right? So get bring my mouse over there, right click, and then I look for device manager, which is up there, device manager. Click on that. The next thing you need to do, uh, you come down to here to port com and LPT. Click on that and you'll see which COM port is being used. So serial port COM3 in my case. Click on that and then what you need to do then is go to the top here and it says port settings. Port settings and then you come down here to advanced. Once you're advanced you'll see that everything here should be exactly the same as per the instructions given. 
you'll see on the instructions here, it tells you exactly what you need to do. But the latency timer right here, that should be set on two, two milliseconds. Not, and mine was set on 16. So you just reconfigure that with the drop down, okay, to whatever it is. Then that's it. You press OK and then OK and you're done. Now, what you need to do, go to the twin scan icon here, double click it, and you'll see it will come up here. And that is what you'll be looking at. That's what comes up. Okay, so as you can see here, you've got at the top diagnostics and codes, real-time data. You've got the data log charts. You can reconfigure the key fob in security. You've got your AFR tables as well. ABS tools here. You can view a scope meter, use your twin scan as an oscilloscope as well. A configuration settings on the speedometer radio, if you've got it. BCM, ECM, calibrations, uh, you can change and adjust. Activate modules, you can uh, change and activate uh, lights, signals, dash indicators, uh, ETC, IAC motors, fuel tank drains, all this kind of stuff. And you've got frequently asked questions and also a help uh, function there as well. Okay, right. So that is it. So that is how you download the USB drivers and the software for your twin scan for very simple. The instructions are actually really, really simple, even for somebody like me, who's not that great on the computers. But as I say, works really well. Uh, all you need to do now uh, is connect it to your bike and then start seeing what you can do. So uh, that will be on another video and a series of videos but that will be to install on the bike and also to just to get yourself started. Right, catch you again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website, revelatealf.com. Ta-da.